Last time in our tale, we met Rosa Yitterdahl, an orphan noblewoman out for revenge. Now, her quest comes to an end, before she is drawn into the mystery of the Triton Gambit. Moving clan Leon, so I have gone slightly closer to what I needed to. Yes, you've just done a massive U. <laughs> I, I, I'm better now than I was. Yes. Okay. Um, do I have any idea of... Do, wait, on. Can you describe my surroundings again, please? Again, this is a service, like a service access tunnel. You know, very exposed metal. You know, pipes, cables, metal grills. The walkway is basically just a metal grill. With, like, railings and stuff. Okay. Well, this fine. This time. entire stairwell is basically built into the side of a shaft that's just, like, pure black. Well, at this point, I just keep my hands towards my, um... Towards a uh, knife I carry at my belt. Yep. Not really, expo you know, exposed, but I just keep it towards it, you know. Mm -hmm. I just keep it within, rain, uh, yep. within reach and start walking down the stairwell. Uh, yep. Stalking down the corridor. Yep. Trying to keep an eye out as I go. There's looking... little, there's like little signs on the corridor to you know guide you. You know, like yeah. Uh, okay, like, fair enough. Yeah, like this <laughs> this way to the storeroom, this way to the kitchens. Ah, okay. Are those the two instructions I see? Storeroom. Well, no, kitchens. there's storeroom, kitchens, the okay. barracks, uh, the stables, uh, the garage. The, the, the the servants' quarters. I walk towards the servants' quarters. Okay. Back to our styling! <laughs> <laughs> no, you're not. Well, I'm inside the building this time, rather than yes. outside the building this time, which is a lot easier to walk around in. Yep. Yeah, you 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 reach a uh, like a small, almost like a little airlock, and there's like a little visor slit. Airlock. Okay. Well, it looks like an airlock, you know, it's got like the massive spinning wheel on the door, like a bulkhead. Okay. Can I turn it? I I, I try to turn... Oh, it is. Uh, I try to turn the bulkhead. It turns. I was expecting a shrimp check. I, okay. There's... And I pull the door open. Yep. There's, you know, there's a small, there's a ringing sound as, you know, the, the metal vibrates as you unlock everything and pull it open. I look inside and see what, uh, and observe what I see. Uh, wood. Like, uh, wood, wood flooring and much more sort of, uh, rather than the exposed metal, it's more like sort of plasterboard style walls painted, uh, you know, deep red. I'm, I just nod to myself. And I stroll in, closing the door behind me. Mm -hmm. I dust down my clothing of any kind of soot or anything that accumulates as I can, and try to uh, to prepare myself as regally as I could. Cool. You are now walking through Clan Leon territory in how in Clan Yitterdal colours. Uh, I didn't say I was in colours. I just said okay. I was in. Uh, I was presented as. Um in more noble looking clothing yes of more neutral colors okay as best i could okay so yes, as hang on, as hang on. i'm trying to... otherwise so probably in black uh more so neutral colors but i'm using i use my signet in order to get in so yeah. well you're in you're in black which obviously neutral. is not out yes <laughs> <It's> not blatantly <laughs> on display yet 
Yes, I have it in my pocket. Yes. Okay, sure. Yeah, you're in. You're walking around. Now and again, you'll see a servant quickly rush past, because this is like a, a warren of passages. You know, corridors, I, crossways, crossroads. Well, as I see a servant just walk past, I mm-hmm. just have a slight, slight satisfaction to myself. Good, they bought it. <laughs> <laughs> and at one point, as one goes by, I just click my fingers at them. Uh, the, the, the young woman, who is like pushing a small tray, which is filled with, looks like, you know, basically dirty tableware sort of stops and looks and goes, uh, oh, yes, m- m- lady. <laughs> right, right, how do I do this? Right. Do, you, do, do, do you need an escort out? Hang on, give me a sec. I'm trying to think of the sort of buildings. All the time. Well, actually, I have no uh, basis for that. Well, you were in a, <laughs> you had your own. You grew up in a like you know a um, noble estate. So feel free to ask. I'm for trying help. to. I'm trying to think of any build uh, any room in, within the building which is near the uh, the elders' room. But isn't the elders' room itself one of like the bedrooms? It's like a library or something that's nearby. Yes, a, a study or a library. Yeah, but there's a good chance I'm of that. Lo- I'm looking for the Grand Masters, uh, is, uh, the, the Grand Elders Library. Uh, sorry. <sighs> Can you direct me to the Grand, uh, Grand Elders Library? I'm so sick of finding my way around this building. <laughs> uh, yeah. Of so, course. And she looks confused. <laughs> it's like, hmm. um, one minute, please. And, you know, she reaches out and there's like a little bell and she pulls on like a little cord. Shit, 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 and, shit, uh, shit. A, a, a younger, a, a young boy runs up. He looks about like, you know, 12. Ah, oh, sorry, relief. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yes, ma'am. Um, and, you know, the woman, the female servant goes like, oh, could you please escort this lady to the, uh, the library? Yes, ma'am. And sort of bows to you and then turns around and starts leading the way. I turn to the servant, give a, give a short, very small nod in her direction, and then impurity follow the servant. Okay. Uh, as the young boy, you, you notice the young boy sort of sneaking looks at you over his shoulder as he leads the way. I smile politely and I smile cheekily at him as, as he does so. Mm-hmm. He sort of flushes as he notices you noticed him. <laughs> What's your name, boy? He visibly gulps at this <laughs> and pales. <laughs> I just smile, I just grin, just like, wildly. <laughs> <laughs> Herman Milady. Ah, I think I had one, I think I had one of my own servants called Herman. Hmm. How long have you been here, my boy? That uh, all my life, ma'am. The E is now fixedly not looking at you. <laughs> Aww, it's adorable. <laughs> um. I, I I put a hand out and just touch his shoulder quickly. He just, freezes. Just have him. Just he is like uh, proper uh, frozen. Just no need, to, no need to be shy. Just turn my way, and I just turn to the side, like slightly conspiratorially, looking in his direction. Uh, he, you know, he obeys, and you can see he's like slightly shivering. <laughs> oh. I just shush him, Jack. What? Why the fuck? What the? I, I know what I'm doing, but I sound so terrible doing this. Yeah, you do. Like, this you is sound... a highlight. This is a highlight. <laughs> so what did Corin just... do in his R- in his RPG? <laughs> he tried to seduce an underage boy. What? There is a reason for this. There's a reason I'm doing this. It, it, it better be a fracking good one, because this is getting creepy. <laughs> uh, right. I need to think of the wording I'm going for here. If I describe what I'm trying to do, 
What, assassinate least. someone? Y yeah, but <laughs> I'm thinking, right, I'm going towards the library, but I've got to get into the study. I'm wondering if you may be able to just, like... It's like, we have a game. Uh, just, uh, no, the, 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 the boy sort of just vigorously nods goes, Oh, yes, my my my, my mom and my dad, uh, they, they told me that now and again we'll have uh, special guests for, well, you know, the uh, the, the Scion. <laughs> Is that what Hedda referred to him as? Yes, my dear. Um... I might be trying to. Uh, I, I have planned to meet with him, but uh, I arrived a little early. Would you be so kind as when do you escort me to the library? Going and fetching him into the library. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to get him out of the way. Yes, no, no. He, 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 he goes. Wait, do I thought you wanted to go to the study. I worry, ma'am. I will be my boy, and I wish you to fetch the master to the study. I have several books I wish to show him. <laughs> oh, hang on. He, he, his look turns slightly flat at this point. Uh, well, you went quiet. <laughs> my parents came in. <laughs> <laughs> Corin, what are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> so they keep the noise done. Are you catfishing? <laughs> God damn it! <laughs> but you know, I I basically say that like, yeah, could yeah. he bring me there? Could he like, yeah? So, do you want to go to the library or the study? You yourself? Uh, like, out of character. Where are you trying to get to? The library, yeah. Yeah, I'm trying to get there and then get him mm -hmm. to summon the master to the library. Well, he's going to summon the scion. Oh, um, hang on. Nudge, nudge, wink, wink. <laughs> You gotta know what's going on here. Yeah, I know, obviously, who he thinks I am. Mm -hmm. But I've got to get to the dad. <laughs> I've got to get to Big Daddy. <laughs> how do I get to dad? <laughs> okay, he, he leads you. He leads you to the library and the heads off through the. You know, the leads you out from behind the tapestry into the library and then heads off to go fetch. Well, you know, to let the scion know that his uh, special guest is waiting for him. Right. Um. <laughs> now, do I just kill him now? <laughs> I could just do so. Yeah, you could. Um, I could do, but it's not... Well, actually, it's... Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> oh, that's even better. That's even better than I thought. <laughs> well, they stole the future of my house. Maybe I'll steal the future of his. <laughs> Okay, um, I look around the library <laughs> yep. for places to hide. Okay, there, there's book stacks, the obviously, way. there's tapestries. You know, it's okay. like a it's like a double floor library, it's got like a massive, you know, not a balcony, but it, the, the second floor has basically a hole in it so you can look down onto the lower floor. <laughs> you know what I mean. Mm. Okay, well, I have one of the, well, one of the bookcases nearby. Okay. Uh, you you stand and, there for some um, palm one of my blade, uh, one of my knives. One of your throwing knives. Okay. Yeah, just palm one in my hand, as opposed to. Okay, I'm. Uh, Jesus, I forgot. How the hell did you sneak that in? Uh, how did you had them? Um, yeah, no, 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 no. In a coat. No, the, the, in a coat. The throwing knives, the knife, the sword. That's fine. Where the hell's the hunting rifle? <laughs> <laughs> Like, you're, like, are you in, like, in a big poofy gown or something? Well, it could just be I didn't bring it. Yeah, I'm gonna say you don't have that. I think that's fair enough. I wouldn't have bought that. I wouldn't be able to look fuck? for it. <laughs> <laughs> Where were you keeping that? Don't question it. You really don't want to know. <laughs> yeah, okay, so after several minutes of you hiding behind one of the book stack, uh, the young... Well, not the young, the... In this prime, Scion of Clan Leon strides in. I take a quick look at his face. Just uh, it says at the corner. Well, bear my dumb slightly out of the yeah. way. I think I uh, rugged... take a quick look at his expression. Rugged features, a slight jeweling scar to make him look rakish. Magnificent blonde mane of hair. And his expression? Uh, 
polite indifference. Um. Okay, I, I've got an idea in my head. Just like the su- the corner of the bookcase I'm at. Mm-hmm. Since co- since libraries tend to go down corridors. Mm-hmm. The length. If I was to stand at the corner, mm-hmm. what's the distance between the edge of that corridor? Uh, h- how far would he be able to walk? Well, he he's basically just entering the library proper. Hmm. Is it a more traditional library with an outer middle with corn with yes. corridors going around it, as opposed to okay. Uh... I take uh, at this point. I'm, I probably gonna, I'm probably going to make you roll a. Uh... Oh, no, I take a step have... out. Oh, okay. You just I, I smile publicly... and just. Okay. Well, obviously, the things I'm had to just step out yeah. and smile and smile just at at my ease. No, mm-hmm. uh, he notices you and smiles as well. I just I curtsy slightly and slowly walk towards one of the local seat, uh, one of the tables, <laughs> and motion he... him to join me. Yep. <laughs> He, a fo- smile. he he follows, also smiling, uh, <laughs> saying, well, uh, you are a new face, aren't you? Oh, I might, uh, that I am, my dear. <laughs> so, I uh, hear you are the scion of... Is it house... Uh, uh, the scion of the mighty lamb. <laughs> <laughs> Indeed. Ah, much I've heard of that you uh, Looks curious to see in person. <laughs> I just slowly just walk towards and slightly hands mm-hmm. behind my back and bemuse, uh, bemused to look on my face as I, I just, approach. This is where I quickly ask, is there something in your hand? <laughs> yes. No. Okay. Yeah, because it's good to ask this now yeah. as opposed to later. Yep, yep. There's a knife in my hand. Okay, cool. I just approach with a, you know, just like a yep. queer smile on my mm-hmm. face as I approach. How does he react as I approach? He sort of just, you know, casually leans back against the bookcase. <laughs> I, I, I giggle Smirking. slightly to my, I giggle slightly to myself. Mm-hmm. <laughs> as I, as I'm, I'm not, I'm not going to straight away. I might, I just step close to him and, you know, just kind of look to the side. So... <laughs> <laughs> oh my I imagined this for a while it's curious that she be here and to find myself it's so tongue tied roll me a uh, perception awareness <laughs> oh what this is a bit uh, modifier zero yep please yes for once yeah he's got a knife in his hand out in front of him? No, it's palmed, like, you know, he's holding the handle and the blade is flat against his forearm. You, you know, because you've that done there. that. Okay. No, no, you, like, it's a sleight of hand thing that you notice because you've done it. Okay. So he's like, hmm, I don't know who you are. Protect myself. <laughs> mm-hmm. Right. Um, hang on. I'm trying to figure the best way. <laughs> well, you're doing better than the others. <laughs> what, then the others would probably do in this situation? Yeah, at, th- at this point, they'd probably be like, and what to do? Stab him in the face! I- I'm trying to be the most, like, you know, I- I'm doing it stealthily, so the best I can do it as I can. Well, you can go for it. You, you can go for the surprise round and try to stab him now. <laughs> Uh, you are in melee range. I am in melee range. Um, how old is he? As a general rule of thumb, it's kind of impossible to tell with nobles because they have like all these rejuvenant treatments. But oh, he yeah. looks to be in like mid thirties, mm-hmm. and he looks kind of stocky. Then who obviously know? That is half. Mm-hmm. 
Oh, bollocks. I'm just trying to think. I, I don't want to just go straight into just trying to kill him. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up and shank the man. <laughs> <laughs> Um, my eyes go wide for a second, mm-hmm. and I cough. One of my hands, not obviously clutch a blade, goes to my mouth, and I just mm-hmm. cough violently into it. Yeah. Slightly double up slightly. Mm-hmm. He warily slides a little bit away from you. Shit. <laughs> Ah, uh, shit. This isn't good. Uh, just, I just... I just stop and just go... <laughs> Clever one, aren't you? Just... Uh, grip it in my hand more... Oh, how... Just stab the <laughs> <I'm> fucker! Ah, <laughs> uh, I throw it at him. <laughs> okay. That's our ballistic skill plus... Yeah, Clever one, are you? <laughs> you? <laughs> just <laughs> underhand throw right into him. I was um... hoping he'd go, like, concern, step forward, shank. Uh no. <laughs> yeah, no, I, I know that, that. Like, good thought. He's a noble. Oh that god, you're a sick. Commoner. Fuck you. Yes. Yeah, but yeah, fair enough. Do you know where <laughs> I'm coming from with this? At least I'm going along the right lines. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Uh, what am I rolling? Resistic. It's going to be a ballistic skill plus. But let me check if I can see if there is enough. Because like, to me, what... he steps away from me, and I'm prepared for what I'm doing. Yeah, no, no, but you're still close enough for it to be essentially point-blank range. Hence, give me a minute to find that. <laughs> okay. Um. <laughs> oh, God, he's a point-blank range. That's a plus 30. Oh, wow. Well, I do what he does. You, you could, so you're rolling under 61. So I put plus 30. Yeah. Yeah, that knife hits him. Oh, wow, pretty solid. Um, let's see that you rolled. I'd a, assume it's a bit a late nine. to say it. I'd, it's as a mate to say it, but I'd assume I'd aim for what I didn't yeah. even say I could to some kind of organ. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, it's only a knife though, so it only does one d five damage. That's always the thing, isn't it? It's the idea that I'm a rogue sneaking into a mm-hmm. warrior's. A warrior's house, Joink is asleep, and I slit mm-hmm. his throat. I'm only doing 1d4 damage. Yeah, okay, you know what? Fucking throat. No, yeah, you know what? Okay, fine. You got, you got like five <laughs> fucking bonuses. Just... You sink that fucker in his eye. Yeah, I just like in that example, it's just like, oh, for fuck's sake, I just slit his fucking throat. <laughs> yeah, no, I'll, uh, yeah, I'll, I'll let you Even have like that. Even like coup de croix, I get double damage. Yes, I'll, 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 I'll yeah. let you have that. You just sink a freaking knife in his eye. E. And he just drops. I just grin, just looking, and just <laughs> taking a moment of satisfaction. I just, I, I do look around, I take a quick look around though to see if anyone is nearby. Nope. I think I watched. I probably should have done it beforehand, to be honest. But yeah. <laughs> there's like five <laughs> people just looking at you, horrified. <laughs> no. Right. Okay. Sion Reinhardt is dead. Yes. Okay. Alright. Uh, question. Clothing of nobles. Are they unisex? Mm, no, but fashion basically is. Okay. I'm thinking, could I just strip him? You can if you want to. And wear his There clothing. is blood pouring down his face onto his shirt. Bollocks. Kind of like, like quickly take his jacket off, like if he has anything that's yeah, like sure of his color, just quickly get yes, it off him before. Yes, yes. a nice uh... simple red military jacket. Yeah, I'll just quickly throw it on. It looks like a red coat. Yes, yes, perfect. So you're now oh, so no clutch in my heart. Just like I need to let Jazz know this. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, are you okay? And now. Okay. I drag, I drag his sorry ass, trying to not let any, you know, just trying to <laughs> yeah, you're, you're, you're direct his head towards his body to the corner, out of the way, out okay. of sight. You leave a nice little blood trail. Uh, Scorning, just discontent. Do you um, retrieve your knife? Hmm? Do I retrieve my knife? Yes. 
Okay, you just yank it out of his skull. <laughs> okay, and uh, building layer, I imagine most houses are built mostly the same way. Yes. Uh, do I? Okay, I uh, try to sneak out the library after reseating the knife in its hiding spot. Okay, that's a move silently, plus ten. Good luck! Because you haven't got it trained. God, is this going to be like fucking... What is it? Um, D&D. Oh, bloody hell. Where oh, you, you make had it. move silently and move quietly with no. different checks. No, no, this so is you move... succeed one, but you wouldn't check the other. No, this is silent move. You're fine. Okay. You, 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 you stealthily sneak out. No one seems to be heading that way. Okay. And trying to assume the basic... Uh, I quickly have a look to see if there's any blood on myself. Nope, you, you, you seem to have managed to avoid the worst of the splatter. Uh, you actually casually sort of, you know, duck behind the small plinth with, like, a marble bust on it as you hear someone walking down the, hmm. like, the junk, the corridor. It's like a T-junction. Okay. Are we in the... awareness? Uh, modifier? None. Oh, box, I, uh, I meant to click back. Okay. Hang on, ignore that. That was <laughs> plus nine. Unless you want to just decrease the nine from whatever I rolled. You still failed. Uh, yeah, I failed. Okay. okay. Yeah, no, you, you just quickly you know put your back against the plinth and duck down, and you hear footsteps go louder and then start decreasing as they head down the hall. Mm. I breathe a sigh of just... <sighs> Uh, wait until the voice mm -hmm. is clearly gone before turning. Yeah, it gets it gets quiet and seems you're on your own again. Roll me an intelligence. All right. Okay, you notice something. What do I notice? There's not a lot of guards around. Not a lot of guards around? No. Hmm. Found to myself. This is worrying. I was expecting this to be harder. Um, I, I move at a faster pace. Mm -hmm. Slightly towards where I remember from memory the uh, elders room is sure hmm? okay you get there without incident or so you think <laughs> right uh, am I in front of that big doorway that I think yes. the doors okay. great open I listen, double doors I listen at the door to see if I hear on the other side nothing Is there a keyhole? Yes. Can I look for the keyhole? Yes. Okay. It seems empty. <sighs> right. Okay. I, tr I pr press pressure on the door. You put pressure on the door. Let's try to slowly move it. It is not moving. Damn. <laughs> can I, right? Okay. Can I? Okay. I press hard on it to see if it is actually locked or just. It is locked. It's a, it is locked. Damn. Can I? Well. Right. I'm trying to think. Think back to my childhood. Were there any secret passages within a place like this? In a house, obviously, I assume all houses have their secrets. Uh, there could there could be a servant's access, or like a little bolt hole, like sort of emergency exit. I assume all small children in their youth tend to, you know, just walk around, mm -hmm. you know, explore their house. <laughs> yes. Did I find anything? <laughs> yeah. But yeah. again, th th those kind of secret passages are kind of specific to each house. 
no point yeah. having them standard issue. Yes, but I might know the basics of where to look for one. Okay, yeah, you start basically poking all the paneling and looking behind tapestries. While keeping an eye out behind me. Yep. Just a couple more dice rolls. Uh, roll me a search. Oof, I see high die. I'm like, yes. Uh, modifier? Zero? Yep. Fucking 17. Oh my god. You lucky bastard. <laughs> <laughs> okay, what you... Yeah, you manage... What you manage to find is, like, behind one of the paintings... For some reason, it just you're like you know, if it's of a mighty lion standing on a rock, roaring into the rising sun. You know, you, you kind of pass by like the sort of self-aggrandizing, you're like ugh, and kind of just like flick it. Okay. And there's like a deep thunk. Okay. And a key falls out. So. <laughs> if I unlock the door. You unlock the door and you enter. Yes. There, you know, you hear a faint sound of running water. <laughs> Again, this is a very opulent bedroom. Lots of reds, you know, four poster bed with red, you know, red blankets, red thick carpet, really dark polished wood for all the um, furniture. Lots of sculpt, lots, lots of like etches and details of lions and skulls. Mm. Fucking jazz. Is he having an oblivion? <laughs> oh dear. And um, and there is of course a lion uh, rug, lion skin rug. There's a lion. What's just there in the room? It's a lion skin rug. There ah. is there isn't just a live lion. <laughs> it's just surprise, <laughs> motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> the head of Clan Leon is literally a lion. <laughs> Perfect. No. God damn it. Well, okay. Um, I palm one of my knives again. Mm -hmm. Well, this actually, no. I slowly draw my blade. Your sword, okay. My sword. Mm-hmm. And look for the source of the water. Uh, there seems to be a doorway leading to like another smaller room. You assume it's like an ensuite bathroom. Okay. I have my hand behind my back so that the blade is this obvious. Yeah. From what's happening. Yeah, ninja hold. Yeah. Yeah, and try and walk slowly towards the room mm -hmm. as best I can. Mm -hmm. And I listen at the doorway, paying attention to anyone. You know, obviously coming out of it. Uh, someone sounds to be humming to themselves. Would I know the voice of the guy? No. Of it? Ah, oh, damn. Okay. Well, I get. Um, I just. Go right. Well, here goes nothing to myself. And take a step into the bathroom. There, my blade. You step into the door. Oh, step into the doorway. <laughs> yeah, you open Bending. the door, or... <laughs> oh, you thought you said, I thought the door was already open. <laughs> no, That's it wasn't. Kind of it was closed. Okay. <laughs> it's like, I step into the... <clears throat> Ow. Okay, I open the door. Quickly. Okay. And step it is, inside. It is a white porcelain bathroom, as you would expect. Lots of lovely little, you know, golden etches and details on every single tile. Each tile a little bit of, you know, really fine artwork. There is a bathtub full of bubbles slowly filling with water. Mm -hmm. And sitting on the privy, <laughs> reading the paper, is Clan Elder Berthold Leonhard, who looks up in surprise as you enter the bathroom. D I... I... <laughs> you couldn't resist, could you? No. <laughs> I was going to carry this reference all the way to the end, because fuck it. I, I, but I just... I grin, take out my sigil, 
keep it man walks uh, how far am i towards him it's how a sm- is he? it's 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 a smallish bathroom you're about maybe five meters i'm terrible with measurement <laughs> mm-hmm. but the small bathroom for a noble yeah He's kind of got this lunging range. Yes, you are. He's kind of got this slight. You're within charge distance, but he's got this kind of deer in headlights look. I charge and try to stab at his chest. <sighs> okay, plus fifty to your fucking weapon skill. <laughs> fifty. Uh, twenty for a charge 30, plus thirty because he's surprised. Fifty. Mm-hmm. Yes. Yeah, I'm not even going to make you, you... You've literally caught this guy with his pants around his ankles. Please tell me I haven't actually killed him yet. That he's just, like, stabbed and that's it. You've pretty much, like, put a hole in his lung. It's okay. filling up with blood. He's pretty fucked. I quickly show him the sigil and mm-hmm. say... To house you to a sense its regards. <laughs> house you to a sense its regards. <laughs> He just what? he sort of looks up at you and spits blood in your face and then slumps over dead. What else could I say? <laughs> yeah. What else could I say? This was always going to happen. You realize that this was always just going to be a massive Game of Thrones reference. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it was. Yes, it definitely was. But it's a prologue, so fuck it. I don't have to be original. I just grin. Just. <laughs> <laughs> There's a slight clapping. No. <laughs> well, 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 well. That was poetic. <laughs> Wait, is that a voice I hear? Yes, that's someone actually speaking. I just go completely just dead still and whirl around very quickly. Drawing my sword. <laughs> uh, just quickly pulling my sword out. Try a will to face this, whatever this is. There, there is a man behind you. Mm. Well, he's also wearing sort of like he's wearing like a black body glove, and he sort of just holds up his hands and he's like, "Peace, peace, peace." I, I no kind of need stand. to be <laughs> annoyance. He sort of just grins as he like you know looks over your shoulder at the dead body. I must say, you show promise. I just, my face is a sly, I just no, questioning. Hmm. Which way you be, sir? Uh, 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 uh. I'm asking the questions, and uh, there is a very pertinent one I feel I must ask at this point in time, Lady Eaterdall. And it's simply this. Now what? What do you intend to do? That kind of social smile that curls onto my face naturally mm-hmm. as trying to talk to you, it just goes off. Mm-hmm. I just look at him. Like, in my experience, uh, a man does not ask that question without having an offer in mind. Of course, of course. Well, you see, the way I see it, you've just killed one of the noble houses here well a leader of one of the noble houses and i'm sure within your little politics of this simple little hive it's all oh very noble and righteous and glorious but that being said lady eterdol you are the last of your kind and well noble houses don't just bounce back from something like that just i just grin and go let's go the heads of the house is gone its sire is gone. They don't tend to teach the runner up how to lead. I've already done everything I need to do. Yes, of course. And now what? You'll just sit here and let them execute you? Because from where I'm standing, it looks like you don't have much left. Mm. And he's just smirking. <laughs> well, there's nothing to stop me just slinking back where I came. But I suppose they may hunt me down. Since you haven't immediately killed me, or obviously done anything bad, what do you have to offer? Or, (laughs) in this case, what can I offer you? Oh, he just grins. Well, you see, in my line of work, (laughs) people assume many things. 
but we know better. People think you need to be a good shot, a quick deft hand with a blade. They believe the skill is what sets us apart. <laughs> Very naive, wouldn't you agree? I just give in. Oh no, we both know what it takes. It takes will. It takes the confidence, the strength to walk up to someone who has wronged you, to someone who has wronged those we care about, to look them in the eye and stab them in the heart. Skill is nothing without will to direct it, and <laughs> my lady, you have shown a lot of will today. I must say, your case was very interesting. It's, well, why I figured it'd be nice to extend my support, so to speak, to see how far your will would take you. So many come so close to what you have done, and yet falter at the last step. They can't bring themselves to slay an innocent, or maybe that the great evil demon that they've built up in their mind is just an, well, old man on a privy. <laughs> and the smoke at that. <laughs> this man. No one is innocent. This man especially so. His eyes light up at that. It's like, <laughs> oh, I think we're going to get on fabulously. It's you see, the no man is innocent comment, yeah, wasn't it? Yes. Yeah. It's like, oh, we're going to get on fabulously. You see, my mistress is always on the lookout for, well, talented people. And I must say, you have proven yourself quite talented. And he casually reaches into a pouch and pulls out his own sigil of an I, as in the letter I, capitalized with two bars through it. My uh, just the smoke on my face just looks at and for a moment just it just disappears. My eyes go wide. Yep. My <laughs> mouth just opens like, oh. And it just <laughs> kind of just go. Just the face lasts for a second, and In... then turns into a grin. <laughs> yes. Well, you, I'm sure you got a good eyeful of my mistress when she paraded down the streets. She tends to be very oh. hands off when it comes to things. Come along, oh. though, and uh, you shall get to meet her yourself. And then you'll be sent off for processing and training, as all new recruits to the Order are. But I think you'll do fine. Who knows? In time, it might be you leading a lovely little parade down those streets. <laughs> Welcome to the Inquisition, Lady Turtle. Thank you.